Someday we'll find it The rainbow connection Hey, welcome back. Special glasses are uh, giving some people who are colorblind a new look at the world. Really seeing vibrant color for the first time can be emotional. We heard about that the other day on Good Day. Men, turns out, more likely to be colorblind, as they say, than women. Optometrist Dr. Clark Newman is here to tell us more. And uh, Thank you for being here, first of all. I think a lot of people were amazed by our story yesterday because mm -hmm. this guy for like 46 years has been colorblind. He puts on these glasses and all of a sudden he sees these vibrant mm -hmm. colors. Uh, it, does it work that easy? Well, I mean, first off, they're not colorblind. They, they, they have deficiencies in how their color works and the strategy of the various ways that we correct color deficiencies is to attack those deficiencies. And, and in this system with the Enchroma lens, what it does is it creates separation between the various colors so it makes them easier for the patient to see by hmm. filtering out the intersections between the light rays that are perceived by more than one of the retinas. I, I, I'm in the fairly typical category mm -hmm. of men with what they call red-green mm -hmm. color blindness or color deficiency. Mm -hmm. So I'll have, you put reds and, and, and greens together with another color, and, and I don't see them. For example, I... You took I, the test yesterday, right? I right? see a bunch of dots there. And I'm supposed to be seeing a color, apparent? Or 57, a, a number? the number 57. That's what I'm supposed to be seeing. Yes. With. Okay. You don't so, see it at all, huh? No, not a thing. No, wow. Yeah, col okay, color here's vision. another one. Yeah. I can see there's something there, but I can't tell you what it is. Yeah, okay. it's a Christmas tree. So that's, that's <laughs> actually fairly typical of, of red-green color deficiency. Correct. I mean, patients that have color deficiencies will confuse colors, and we exploit the colors that they confuse to create the different images that you see on the color vision tests so that we can mm -hmm. tell what's color normal, right. what's color deficient. In, in my case, I came home one time, I was very proud because I found these three blue shirts on sale. And mm. they were really cheap and they were a great deal. And Beth said, why do we need th three violet shirts? And you're I like, they're said, blue. Well, they're, they're blue. She said, no, they're, they're, they're violet. But that, that would be what we're right. talking about. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, and you'll, you'll even come into work sometimes and say, oh yeah, look at this pink shirt. And we're like, or this white shirt. And we're like, yeah, no, right. that's, that's pink. <laughs> So mm. that, that could be an issue as well. Now, as far as technology goes, I mean, how long have these glasses been around? Are they doing contacts as well? What, what's the latest? There are two basic strategies for helping people that have color deficiencies. You know, one type of color deficiency is where they're missing one of the, the cones. And those people are helped with the older X-chrome principle where we put a red filter in a contact lens. So the, the lens looks red. We don't do that in glasses because they look bad. But so we do them in contact <laughs> lenses fairly frequently. And that really helps them perceive color as long mm. as their brain can put the two images together, which is sometimes the stumbling block. This newer technology has been available for a short period of time. It's been kind of conceptualized for quite a while, but these guys have figured out how to filter it, and it works about half the time. Oh. Um, it, because they're trying to guess where the intersections between the light rays filter, and if they get it right, the patient sees great. If they miss a little, it doesn't help them quite as much. Yeah. So you'll see some patients go, wow, and some patients go, I don't notice the difference, but it is right. one more tool that we have to help patients yeah. with color deficiency. And color deficiencies can foreclose. You know, for you, it's a, an odd shirt and a giggle, uh, you know, right. among the staff. But, you know, it, it forecloses certain uh, occupations to people, uh, you know, hmm. working on lines for electronics and, and the phone company or being in the military you know, trying to land a jet on an aircraft carrier. You can't do that if you're color deficient. Oh, right. I always it. joked about becoming a, a bomb disposal and cutting the wrong colored wire. Right. Yeah. It would probably not be a really, right. No. Right. Right. No, we won't. You'd only, have you do, you'd that. only do that <laughs> if there's a bomb. We won't yeah. have you do. You'd it. only do that. Cut once. the green wire. Yeah. No. You'd only do that once. <laughs> Thank you so much for your it's insight. We appreciate it. You can find a link, by the way, to those in chroma glasses and uh, also Dr. Newman's practice at fox4news.com.